What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Doggy Diamonds. This is Doggy Diamonds TV you're looking at right here. And this is a part of the rundown. So for some time, I've been telling y'all about this. But, you know, I guess my word don't mean nothing. I don't know anything. You know, I'm just a YouTuber. Just a guy on YouTube who don't know anything, didn't grow up around nobody, don't know nobody. But for a while now, I've been telling you that the Foxy Brown and Jay-Z thing was capped. Now, Foxy Brown decides that she wants to speak out and say, ain't a Emma F alive could stop my story. Foxy Brown exposed the truth about a rumored, rumored relationship with Jay-Z at 15, which I already debunked. But again, what do I know? So let's read. Brooklyn born rapper. Foxy Brown, who's 46, is addressed in the long-standing rumors that she and hip-hop mogul Jay-Z, who's 54, were involved while she was still a minor. The Broken Silence rapper once again spoke out regarding chatter surrounding her relationship with Jay-Z and has allegedly have under an ironclad NDA to silence her speaking out against him. Since Foxy Brown emerged on the scene with her debut album, Il Na Na 96, many have questioned her relationship with Jay-Z, alluding to him having an inappropriate relationship with the artist when she was underage. These rumors have heightened since fans claim that she's been tight lips since the downfall of Hov's close associate, Sean Combs. This is from Atlanta Black Star too, by the way. Shout out to them. Foxy has continuously denied any unscrupulous activity about her and the hard knock life rappers relationship through the years, including the alleged relationship they were supposed to have had when Foxy was 15 or 16 years old. She recently took to the internet to clear the air again, again. Foxy born Inga Marchant, went on a rebuttal spree via her Instagram stories on October 6th, firing back at several bloggers who dared mention her name. On September 13th, ex-user Luffy S. Boa posted his thoughts in response to Nicki Minaj's message of support to Lil Wayne surrounding the Super Bowl controversy, where Jay-Z's Rock Nations tapped Kendrick Lamar to take the stage in New Orleans over the NOLA native. The user's original message was shade towards Rock Nation being over soon, but somehow Foxy got mentioned in the crossfire. Jay Z spot about to be blown up soon. Once Foxy NDA is over in 25, 2025, baby, she's singing. I feel like the rock is almost done. This is why Nikki is so comfortable talking like this. And let me interject real quick. There's no proof that Foxy signed the NDA and is over in 2025. But when you listen to these manic, schizophrenic, People getting on, doing these interviews, you think you know what you're talking about based off of liars. And that's why y'all conjure up all this stuff. But I've been trying to call that out. But, you know, let y'all do what y'all do. So Foxy shared a screenshot of the post and her response to her Instagram story. An icon business. Miss me with that fake news. NDA ain't an Emma F alive could stop my story. NDA on my story, on my, well, she says S word, but I'm going to say story, going to cost 100 mil. The following, Foxy followed with the Instagram story post featured a screenshot of a video from a YouTuber, Tisa Tells, posted on October 5th. 5th. Tisa Tells claims that the rapper has broken her silence and planned on, planned to divulge all information she knew about Jay-Z and Diddy's friendship and their involvement in the Tupac situation. And she says, and she responds again, you have these bull crap YouTube people, these fake news people, and they get headlines. And most of the stuff y'all read be cap. I'm telling you, the profit muffs, muscle muffles, muscles, all these YouTube have these cap titles and it's all clickbait. But you quick to come on my comments sometime and say clickbait when I actually talk about stuff. But look. She says, like she knows Foxy. So she say what Foxy's about to do, and y'all go clicking and reading it, and then y'all run with it. So she says, stop playing with my name, dying for a comment. Can't spin me with the sucker S to take down hold. 
better ask about the cloth I'm cut from. Foxy, when you speak, it's over. Stay protected, too. This is what she got from a DM. It's the people telling her, when you speak, it's over. Stay protected. So, again, they have this thing of, oh, if somebody talks, then this is going to happen. And this is because y'all think that these some of these men are so powerful that they can make this happen in the drop of a hat. Cap. Y'all want me to be, be anti-hole so bad. F out of here, post that. So, Foxy did take time to acknowledge some of the people who weren't falling for the negative narrative, and she showed love to the sharp mf -er who told the bloggers they could stop with the fake news, and she told another to call her the night when she stated she was cut from a different cloth. I don't know if you can't comprehend because that's not what it gave. In other words, she said you you and them are an icon business with the fake news. So, again, she's saying comprehension is a lost art. She's saying that they didn't have no relationship. That's what, they, that's what she's saying. But y'all keep running with it. Y'all keep y'all keep saying this, that, and the third. And again, how y'all think he's next? I did the whole video. He's next based off of what? I broke that down. Look at the whole thing that I broke down. Look, look it up. Fairy tale, fake news. Uh, but the fox and hove lies are pathetic, pathetic at pathetic, pathetic at this point, pathetic at this point. Quietly raising my beautiful girl, preparing for the greatest comeback in music. Hop off my D-I-C-K. So, again, there's interviews out there of her being loyal to Jay-Z, saying they never mess with each other. And in this time, this would be the perfect time for her to tell her truth. If it was some truth to tell. She could get a lot of money. More money than he could offer her. I don't care what you think somebody got and take down somebody empire. But y'all want him to be so guilty, so bad that even when she says it didn't happen, y'all are still say, no, no, she got. That's a sickness. That's a sickness to me. But let me know what you think. I kind of, I kind of could guess what some of the comments is going to be because people going, oh, he paid her. Y'all too invested. I'm just here to show y'all what I've been saying. Now she's doubling down on what I'm saying. But this is from the horse's mouth. And then even in Picasso, what did he say? I never stuck my inside of the fox box. That's how Picasso started. But y'all want them to have this relationship so bad because he got to go down. But what he did to that girl, what he did to Aaliyah, when he met Aaliyah, she was like 20, 22. And Dane was messing with her too, or trying to get at her too. But for some reason, when all else fails, just blame Jay-Z. Now, Jay-Z might not have been nice to his friends in business, but blaming somebody for doing things that they had no business doing that could send you to prison or take down everything you've done that's something different. Yeah, he might not have did good business move or might not have done something for somebody that somebody felt entitled to. I agree with all of that. But saying that he was messing with youngins, come on, man. Look at the Jay-Z is next video. Matter of fact, I'll pin that video as the first comment on here. Watch that video. I break it all down. But then you can even see the comments there. Y'all still trying to find a reason why it could be proof don't mean i'm gonna end it on this proof don't mean nothing to y'all no more if your mind made up that's it somebody could prove something to you and you be like no but yeah that's what's wrong with y'all now all right i'm out